How's it going, guys? So I took a time lapse of the sky, and they are 15 second exposures with five second intervals. And I want to make some star trails out of them. And I'm going to show you how to do that using Adobe After Effects CC for Mac. It's actually very simple. There are no tutorials online for the newest version of After Effects, so I decided I would go ahead and make one. And I'm just downloaded it and started the trial today and just figured out how to do it today. So you can't see this top part up here because I wasn't able to get it with Screencast O Matic. But if you go to File, Import Multiple Files, and then go to where your images are, which might happen to be right here in this memory card, external memory card, click open and it'll open it right here in the project to the left. When it finishes, for some reason it still thinks you want to import more, but go ahead and cancel. And then make sure all of these are selected. If they're not, then just select one and control A to select them all and then drag it down here to your composition. Okay, so make a new composition from selection. So this is where, you know, it took a little bit. So you're going to do a single composition. It took a little bit to figure out and um, use the dimensions of the single photograph if they're all, hopefully they're all the same uh, dimensions. Uh, all right, so the still duration is going to be how long the image is displayed for and you can add to render queue if you want to render it in After Effects, um, but I suggest rendering it in uh, Media Encoder, which I'll do here. Uh, all right, so, and you can look up how to render things uh, in different ways. So I've set this to four second still duration. Sequence the layers, overlap them by just check marking these bad boys. Uh, transition off for star trails, which is what I'm going to do here, and duration 0 0.01 of a second. And that's so you can, I mean, you can change this, um, you know, to make it longer, depending how you, what images you took and how you want it to be. But these are the settings I'm using for my star trails. All right, so I select that, and it'll make a kind of a stepping case here. Alright, so now that we have this set up, then we select these down here, and again, make sure you have them all selected. If they're not all selected, then, you know, just Command A, select them all, and then come up to uh, Layer, up top, Blending Mode, Lighten, and remember, make sure they're all selected. And then click this little Enable Frames Blending for All Layers with the Frame Blend Switch Set. Make sure you have that turned on. And then all you have to do is just drag it all the way to the end. Once you've got it dragged all the way to the end, uh, you can preview it to just make sure it's doing what you want it to do. Um, and you'll start seeing the trails immediately. So this is of 175 frames. Uh, 15 second exposure with 5 second intervals. And so now what I'm going to do is render this video. And so, by the way, right here on the left, it shows you how long it takes in the frame rate, how long the video that you made is. Um, and you can also see it right here. It's a little more than 17 seconds. So if it's not the time that you like, then just, you know, if it's not long enough, or if it's too long, then uh, just Command Z, which is undo, right? We'll undo all this. If it's too long, we'll go back to that. Try it again. Then just make this, just do it again, and then change this still frame right here, and make it a little shorter. Like I, 17 seconds was a little long for me, so I'm going to shorten it a bit, and then comes out here to about. Looks like we're about. 11 seconds, so that's good. Remember, so we'll enable this, make sure we got all those selected, 
go to layers, blending mode, lighten for all of them, and then extend it all the way to the end. And there you have it. Very simple way to make star trails using After Effects. And it'll go all the way through. All right, so now rendering. Uh, and then you can add more stuff like text and stuff. You can put your name down here at the bottom. Uh, rendering is, you can render in here by going to Composition, which is a tab at the top, Composition, and Add to Render Queue, or you can add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. Uh, the Render Queue is pretty simple. Uh, just it, uh, Yours might end up down here. You can grab it and drag it up here if you'd like. That's how I got it. Yours, yours might be down there. So you can grab it and drag it up here if you like, or keep it down there, whatever's better for you. Um, so you'd start by hitting these, and you can customize it um, by make, changing anything you want in it. Uh, and then the output is what you want to really look at. You can get to my format options. You can get here to H.264 if you want through here. But now this is my first time actually rendering something, but I figured it out, so I wanted to make a, but I'm not going to render it through here. I'm going to go to Composition and add to Adobe Media Encoder, and then open up Adobe Media Encoder. And for some reason, that didn't work. So, oh, wait, yeah, it did. It came back here. But if it didn't work for some reason, just come back here, and you'll notice at the top here, a composition has appeared. And that's this composition down here, see DSC3, whatever it's named. And you can literally just grab this and drag and drop it in there. Um, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, uh, if the, if you didn't want to do composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue, you can literally drag it in there. Then once it's dragged in there, then just click the H264. And this is how you render it in Media Encoder. Alright, so Media Encoder has the format here, which is awesome, because it's anything you like. <clears throat> if you want MPEG-4, um, but the H.264 is the best, and the preset is where it'll have super friendly um, outputs. So I'm going to go for the 4K YouTube output, and make sure your duration is good. You like everything, you can preview it down here, but it's going to have to render the preview. So export video export audio uh, you can mess with some more settings down here if you'd like but once you got it done you got it done then you select ok and you render your star trucks